I think I'm going to have to wait for this to pass over because I have to show you this. Do not try this with your router. This is the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi BD5 outdoor router. But why would you need a router outdoors? Well, check this out. I wanted to put a security camera right there so I can monitor the street and be able to control my gate through an app so when I'm away, in case of emergency, somebody else could be let access into the house. But the problem is that the Wi-Fi router is so far away so it doesn't get any signal. Which makes complete sense because when we set up a Wi-Fi router, we're obsessed with getting the best connectivity we can inside our home. We want the fastest possible signal in every single room. So the outdoors here over here, uh, it's the least of our concern. But we don't just live indoors. We go outside, we hang out by the hot tub or the pool, or we listen to a podcast whilst working the barbecue, or a braai as us South African likes to call it. Then the Wi-Fi is just not cutting it. It just doesn't reach out there. So I got excited when I saw the Zen Wi-Fi BD5 outdoor router at CES, and thanks to ASUS for sending it over so I could test it and for sponsoring this video. This is not some sort of extender. It's actually a full dual band Wi-Fi 7 router with speeds of up to 5,000 megabits per second and can cover up to 2,500 square feet. Since outdoors are naturally more open spaces, let's test it out. Let's see how far I can walk away from my home and see if we're still connected. I love doing these practical tests to understand just the capabilities of these routers. So I'm heading outside for my little walk. Keep your eye on the link speed, 1,152 megabits per second. Now, obviously it's gonna drop further and further as I move further and further away from the house. But the big question is just how much will it drop and just how far am I gonna get? So far, it's pretty friggin' impressive. Now, since it is a Wi-Fi 7 router, it has all the goodness of multi-link operation or MLO. It supports ultra-wide 160 megahertz channels. It has 4K QAM transmission. Translating all this into simple language for the rest of us to understand, it means you get high speed data transfer with reduced latency, so little buffering and super smooth internet uh, i gotta be honest i thought this thing would have cut out by now i mean we've traveled pretty far i'm gonna have to like speed this up because otherwise it's gonna get too boring watching me go down the street here okay this is me recording it after i obviously got back let's see how far we actually get you're gonna be pretty impressed look at this it drops here look at that that is an insane distance from where the house is and this is just wi-fi so when you get a notification on your phone saying someone's in your backyard because your security camera alerted you you're gonna be able to get a proper live stream of that. And on the topic of security, the Zen Wi-Fi BD5 Outdoor has AI Protection Pro, which is powered by Trend Micro. That means that it keeps your network safe and gets regular updates without you paying a monthly subscription fee. And you can easily set up multiple Wi-Fi networks using the Smart Home Master without being a tech geek. Uh, what does that mean? Well, in a couple of clicks in the app, you can set up multiple Wi-Fi names, each one with its own dedicated task. So you can set up an IoT network, which is dedicated just for those smart devices like your cameras and your smart plugs and those smart light bulbs. So why would you wanna do that? Because if your $4 plug that you've ever bought, which shockingly enough, isn't so security conscious, if that ever has an issue or gets hacked, it's away from your main network, away from your data. It just keeps it isolated only to the IoT network. If you've got little kids, as an example, you can set up a kid's network so you can control their internet access. And you can even set up a VPN network so that every single device connected using that Wi-Fi automatically gets that VPN protection and service without you individually having to set up a VPN client on each device. No technical skill is needed to segment your network or VLAN or even know what those words mean. This tool just does it for you. Now, as you saw, my Wi-Fi router is actually placed on top of that little gate that I have at the back. And the beautiful thing is, I do not need to set it up right next to an AC power outlet. That is only one way to power it up. The second way is that it's got two 2.5 gig PoE plus. That means we have all the flexibility to run the PoE cable to wherever that particular router happens to be. And because we're so flexible, you can obviously mount it like you normally would your router on a table 
or you can wall mount it, or you can actually strap it to a pole and everything that you need actually comes in the kit itself. I personally run the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi BT8 as my home routers, which means the cool thing about the ASUS systems, which is why I keep testing them and keep enjoying them, it's not just for the security, but it's because it allows you to carry on building your network as you need. So now that I've got this device, all I do is add this as in another AI mesh node. No new network name, no new password, no having to switch between networks. It's one seamless connection. If I start it inside and head on outside, I just don't lose my signal. And because it's outside, it's rated as IP65, which means it can handle the rain, the dust, the wind, and normal outside debris kind of situation without any problem. And it has a surge and an ESD protection built in. Now I live in Texas. In Texas, it snows. Yes, I know, some people don't know that. It also has the insane Texas heat as well. But this device can handle anything from negative 30 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius, which in Americans is negative 22 to 140 degree Fahrenheit, if I did that silly calculation right. Now look, obviously this is not for everybody. If you don't spend time outdoors or you live in an apartment, you don't have an outdoor space, or you just don't need connectivity when you're outside in the first place. Totally fine. But remember that the next time you hang out in an outdoor cafe on your phone whilst you're drinking your latte, or you're sitting in a pool at some fancy hotel and the internet is pretty crappy, perhaps you should tell them to come and watch this video. I have a link in the description if you wanna check it out. And the question is, do you even need Wi-Fi 7? If you're asking yourself that, Check this video out. I have a full test right over here. Give the video a quick thumbs up before you head out and I'll see you in this video. Let's go.